How's it hanging fellas? I'm Otto and this is another episode of Half-Life 2 and in today's episode we're still in the same area. We're still fighting barnacles and soldiers and an evil developer console. And that gave me... See, I wanted to dance. But it didn't seem to work. Or at least it didn't work the same way it did in Gary's mod. Or if you type in dance in the console your character will start dancing. It was always really fun to do. So, a lot of people play like um, role playing games in Gary Smart, a lot of people play sandbox games, a lot of people play ter Trouble and Terrors now. You know what I like to play when I play Gary Smart? I, I really love playing Death Runs. Where, you know, one team of people is setting up traps while you hit to avoid them. I honestly always liked avoiding them more. It was a lot of fun. And another thing, well, I guess my favorite thing to do in Gary's mod was just to download a shit ton of mods and just mess around with them in the fucking... in the sandbox. For example, I had like a bunch of parkour mods which just had like a run on walls around me to double jump like scout. And tf too. A lot of people have troubles when they're like only playing on consoles to like aim with a mouse. I can understand if you're playing on a PC and then you have troubles with a controller, but aiming with a mouse is so fucking easy. I don't really get how you can have troubles aiming with a mouse. It, for me it seems to like make sense to work one way where you play your whole life with a mouse and then you switch to a controller and all of a sudden becomes like unplayable and you don't know how to use it properly. But to play your whole life with a controller and then don't know how the fuck to use a mouse, it's like way easier. Like I played first person shooters on controllers my whole life. And I think I'm even I'm still like better on PC with a mouse. At aiming. It's like it's fucking just way easier. Yeah, your first physics puzzle. I remember when Mike Matei was playing this. Uh, nothing particularly funny or anything like that happened on the street. I just, I just remember I watched it. Cause I was like, oh, I like Half Life. I fucking like whenever he plays something that I actually fucking know about. Cause usually he just plays like some NES game no one fucking ever heard of. And I guess that's what people fucking watching for. But I don't know, I just kinda like wanna fucking play something modern and fucking normal. <laughs> Not that I never fucking done a let's play on some obscure fucking game no one ever heard of. I mean the let's play before that was MacPixel. You guys ever heard of MacPixel? If you did, then I done a let's play on it. It was the one before this one. I still think this puzzle's stupid, because it's like fucking I couldn't jump properly. See, even with all the all the stupid fucking bricks counterweighting my fucking my stupid fucking physics puzzle I still had a hard time fucking getting over there one thing I do like is that as the game progresses it never gets like I don't know, it never forgets to like oh we forgot to do more puzzles and we just end up making this a zombie survival all of a sudden no, it never did. There's a really weird particular thing that happened. Oh, Jesus Christ, that happened on this let's play. But it haven't happened yet, so I'm gonna point it out when it does. At some point in this let's play, the shadows disappear. And the funny part is that I didn't realize until I until I got to Ravel Home, and I was like, this place is strangely bright for a spooky location. What is going on with it? So I had to restart the game. I love the cable, the power line. With the fact that the helicopter blade around. This is kind of an interesting portion of the game. We have to make it uh, through this place. Uh, helicopter firing at you. I 
always like whenever in video games it's like and like some overpowered weapon and you can just basically fuck anyone up with this weapon but when enemies use it they, they just like shoot a little bit and they make like breaks in between so you get a chance to shoot at them a little bit but in reality no one would like stop ever shooting if they had like a huge infinite ammo minigun on them so why would you ever want to stop? when you literally don't need to it's like burnt bodies in here and shit I don't really know what the fuck that about how did they got there? what burned them? This reminds me of Resident Evil 7, which I also plan to do a let's play on, but some other time. Some other time in the future, maybe. I feel like a lot of the games I have plans to record. By the time I get to them, I'm probably gonna be playing them on PS5. Because at least, thankfully, like a lot of the games I have planned to make let's plays on, I have like uh, digitally. From PS Plus, where I bought them on a, like a discount. So I guess on a PS5 I can still play those. So it's like, cause I was afraid when I would get like a PS5, I'll I'll probably end up just playing PS4 still. But no, if I get a PS5, I can literally just download all the games I have on my PS4, and then I can throw my PS4 out the window. Cause who the fuck needs it anymore when you have a PS5? Unless they will fuck something up and it turns out, for example, I don't know what's the game I'm about to record. Let's say Call of Duty Modern Warfare. That's another game on my list. It will turn out that it runs even worse on PS5 because PS5 is too powerful for the game. It was never meant to run on a powerful system like that. One game that does make me wish I had a PS5 already is Cyberpunk. Supposedly, the PS4 version that I'm playing is the worst one of all of them. So I'm playing the worst possible version of the game, which is pretty funny. Not the first time I did it, because I think... Uh, not Bully, but... Uh, Psychonauts on PS4 is also like a really bad version of it. Because it's just straight up the... PS2 version, except the resolution of it is like scaled up. So it just like ends up being a really blurry ass fucking game, and I did play it and I beat it. It's a fun game, it just looks kinda garbage. Because it's so blurry, because it was meant for a PS2 and TVs back then. And now it's on like an HD TV that I played it on, and I the game scaled up and everything and just looked ugly and you can't turn that off you can't like go into the original resolution or anything just kind of have to go with that fucking ugly look so i wonder how bad will it look on ps5 i don't know i don't really care the only thing i care about now is to finish this let this this episode and then get to fucking work so I won't have to fucking live with the constant fucking fear of me not finishing that in time and then fucking failing my fucking school. And everyone I fucking know that I promised I'll fucking do it on time. What happened? I think the game's transitioning into a different level. The recording then froze. Yeah, it was just a smooth transition. Move as butter. I have a problem with my sleep schedule too. Maybe that's the cause of all my problems and my back my back pain is not caused by the fact that my bed is pretty fucked up. You know, underneath my bed is like a piece of wood that supports it. And I think I just used my bed so much that that piece of wood is sticking out a little bit, you can feel it. So when I lay on the bed, it's like a piece of wood pretty much just like stabbing into my back. And it hurts me so fucking bad. Man, I turned 20 like what, two months ago and fucking now you have back pain all of a sudden? Man, hugs. 
Come on, I gotta defend my friend. Okay, oh, using a iron pipe to defend himself. You think I can do that? Yeah, I could have accidentally got you killed. How the fuck was I supposed to get up there, man? Get me some supplies. Good luck out there. Just fucking left me. So many people in this game seems to live in sewers. It was pretty cozy in here. I don't, I don't know. I blame them. Oh, these are man hugs. Never mind. Cause last episode I said these weird cameras flying at me were man hugs. Those are man hugs. Not the other things. Yeah, I was talking about my fucked up sleeping schedule that I wake up in like afternoon. And by the time I fucking actually get off bed, it's just like... 2 afternoon. Even later sometimes. And by the time I like eat breakfast and I'm done with these recordings, it's fucking dark outside right now. Because it's winter. And it feels like as if I slept through the whole day. And then you even got to fucking see the sun for like an hour. I also not to mention that it's a like quarantine time and because I feel a little sick and I got a nose stuck nose and shit you know, I probably shouldn't be going outside so it means that I've been stuck home for like a week and even before I got sick I was also home where the fuck would I go what would I do nothing so just being home playing video games and there you go now I'm fucking feel miserable Oh, and another thing, on top of all that fucking quarantine bullshit, is the fact that, you know, I'm like in high school right now, and I ne I have like been to that fucking building, like maybe three times, to get some documentation done. So like I never have been on like a single normal looking lesson. I feel like I should. Like, I don't know, it doesn't feel like genuine when I fucking go on these e-lessons. Cause it's like I go on an e-lesson and I can just simply turn off the sound, I can start listening to something else. And who's gonna check that? Nobody. Who's gonna check if I was present during this fucking lesson or did my internet broke or did I just log off? No one, so I'm kind of abusing that and I'm sometimes logging off to do something else. Christ, sometimes they just like that. I, my internet didn't work for like a week. Or my fucking student account broke and I couldn't log on to it. Because who's gonna check that? Nobody. So I can fucking make up whatever the fuck I feel like. Well, if I went to school, I'd probably just have to try harder and I maybe would have fucking. I don't know, not feel so fucking stupid that I'm keep cheating everybody just because I can. But I walked past the explosive barrel and I didn't even fucking notice. And then another guy did and he didn't notice and I used that to my advantage. <laughs> I do love scoping out people with this tiny pistol. Cause guns in this game are so accurate and the funny thing you can't even scope zoom in. Cause what do you need to zoom in for if your guns are already just deadly inaccurate? It's funny that there's a lot of um, mods from like Gary's mod that had guns that are even better than the ones from Half-Life 2. I remember a mod that added like these pistols from, uh, from Hitman. And they were like really realistic looking compared to like everything else in the game. A thumb bone. And I just fought and I didn't even notice because I blew myself up. Some scary fucking music. We got an SMG. SMG is pretty good. Pretty much every gun in this game is pretty good. There is one which is this like alien assault rifle, the one that shoots like these uh, bouncing energy balls. I mean the balancing energy balls are very powerful, right? But 
I don't really like using it, it's very slow. Rocket launchers are kind of weird. Because they're not what you expect them to do. On the SMG also is allowed to shoot a grenade from the from like the under barrel attachment to it. It's pretty cool. But in, in half in Half Life One the the gun that hit the under barrel attachment grenade launcher, right? It was like this cool looking fucking rifle, but in this game it's just like this small tiny lame SMG. Just like ah whatever. It doesn't feel as cool as the guns from previous game. The revolver is back and it's pretty powerful still. It's pretty awesome. The crosser is back and it's just, I don't like it just as much as I didn't like it in the first game. It's just fucking weird, like what is the point of it? That you can tranquilize enemies from when you're underwater? Because in Half-Life 1 the tranquilizer gun was exclusively for these for these like strange um, underwater shark creatures or whatever they were fucking supposed to be but in this game there's, they aren't here so it's like what are you supposed to use the tranquilizer gun against it's basically a sniper rifle except it's slow and it fires bolts so they have a like, projectile they're not a hit scan weapon but it's also the only weapon that allows you to zoom in and this might have been the only time I got caught by a barnacle. So you better rewatch that moment because you're never gonna see me do that shit again. Cause it's like barnacles are easy to avoid, but this time I just ran into one by accident. Look, I'm outside here now. What, what advantage does that give me? These guys are like deploying man hacks. I wish I could deploy friendly man hacks. That'd be pretty cool. You can summon enemies later in the game, and it's also pretty cool. But at the same time, it's kind of lame. You can summon these alien fuckers. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, I don't know where to go now. Well, I don't even remember how many times I died in this game. I don't know why I hugged the wall there for some reason. Maybe I tried to open a door. It was invisible. But there was no door. Good load my back. That's as fuck. You know what sucks? Um, the fact that I have this Japanese PlayStation account, right? And if I ever try to buy something out of the PlayStation, uh, the Japanese PS Store, the the funds that I will upload to that account. They will stay on that account, they won't be shared between accounts, which sucks. Also, I'm not sure if you can just upload... I mean upload. If you can like, add a specific amount you need just for that one purchase. And I mean, you can if you use a fucking credit card, but I don't have a credit card, so what I mean is if you can do that with like a PlayStation Network uh, gift card. Let's say I buy one for like 50 bucks, and I'm gonna only use 40 of those. Do I just wasted 10 bucks on like an account I won't even use or, or can I use that for like a different Or can I just you know Keep the 10 bucks on the gift card and then use the gift card on a different account On the one that I'm actually use I think you can, I don't know, it just makes sense when you think about it that You should be able to do stuff like that I don't remember, because usually when I upload, like, uh, when I buy a game on a discount and then the game asks me to pay and I and I use a, a gift card, right? It usually only takes the money that I need to pay for, it doesn't take all the money from the gift card. So I end up with, like, multiple gift cards and then I have, like, 
this much money on them that I wrote, how much left, and they just combine it and fucking use free gift cards to buy one game. Or something like that, sometimes it happens. I haven't done that in a while though. I thought it was cool that they were long. You know, it's like they're longer than the Half Life 1 episodes, but now they're just fucking annoying. Not that I actually get to sit down and do the commentary for it. Sam just fucking sick, man. But if I don't record these three episodes, then I won't have anything to offer for the next week, and that's kinda out of the question, bro. I, believe it or not, for three years have uploaded every single fucking day. Oh shit, I didn't took any breaks, nothing. I was being consistent, and I was rewarded with nothing. Nobody appreciated my consistency or anything like that. The story has no morale or anything. Just don't be a dumbass like me and fucking expect good things happen to you. Man, he's man here. He's fucking annoy me. Man, his game is beginning to annoy me. Oh yeah, I meant to read this other thing. But you know what, maybe, ne ne maybe next time I'll be recording this, I'll read the... the thing, cause I've... there's only two of those stories I want to read. One is pretty short and the other one's long. But either way, I'm gonna do it next episode, maybe, if I don't forget. There's one that's an hour long and I figured I'm gonna read the longer story on that hour long episode. So that I have something to fill it with. And who knows, maybe by the time I'm gonna make more episodes of this series I'll be a little more fucking cheerful than this time. At least I still have a fucking taste and smell. Cause a lot of time when I when I said to people I'm sick, that's the first thing they asked, do I have taste and smell? Cause you know, fucking everybody thinks that I have coronavirus. I don't think I do, I think I just have a cold. Combined with some weird muscle pains that may or may not be caused by the fact that my bed is kind of fucked up. But I loved my bed, I remember when I f my first night that I slept on my new bed. The other one was straight up just too small for me. My feet were hanging off. So I had it for so long. And when I... When I, um... When I got my new bed, which is this one, I have right now that I made all my let's plays on. Well, not all of them because right now I'm sitting by my desk. But most of the ones where I actually play the game as I fucking talk, I usually sit on that fucking couch, which is also my bed. And the first night when I fucking got that bed, I remember that uh, Mortal Kombat 10 came out around that time. And I remember that I spent the whole night wa watching uh, character intros. I was just watching like, oh this character said this to this character. And each character had something to say to each of the other characters. And I watched like a huge fucking long compilation of every single possible thing they could say to each other. I don't know why. I just, I just really fucking wanted to play MKX. That was also the time where I still didn't head my PS4. And well, I guess a while before I even start making Let's Plays, before I learn how the fuck to do it. It's kind of funny that you know the first fucking method I found was to record footage from PS4 and have a microphone plugged in, and that's the easiest one I know. But this whole time I could have made PC gameplay like this, except I I only figured out how to do it. I only gave a try to recording on PC after my friend uh, was recording speedruns 
of Diablo 2 and I asked him, well, what did you use to record it? And he was like, OBS. I was like, is that a free program? And he was like, yeah, it's free. So I downloaded it and I gave it a try. And uh, my first PC gameplay, what was my first PC footage? I think it was TF2. Actually, it might have not been TF2. I'm not sure. There are some games on my uh, Steam account that I have that are really fucking weird, like Mac Pixel, uh, that I wanted to make a Let's Play out of. Another game that's kind of obscure and probably none of you heard of is uh, Draw a Stickman Epic. That's the title, Draw a Stickman Epic. It's not just Draw a Stickman, it's Draw a Stickman Epic. And it's a really fun puzzle game. So I figured I might as well uh, one day just make a Let's Play out of it. But when will that day come? I still wanted to make a Let's Play out of Brutal Legends. And I still didn't get around to do that, because I think Brutal Legends is kinda long. So it will take me multiple sit-throughs, and this is the end of this episode. So see you fellas in the next episode, bye.